What's going on guys? Dakota here for Cactus Computers. It's been a minute since we've uploaded a video, so we wanted to bounce back with a crazy build. So you might already be noticing we don't have as many components as we normally do. That's because today's video is going to be a little bit different. We want to show you the in-depth look at water blocking a graphics card. In this case we have a PNY Accelerate. It's a uh, 10 gig 3080. And we're going to be putting some EKWB Quantum water blocks on this card. We do a lot of custom water loops in the store. We just don't get the chance to record them for our custom build YouTube series. So I wanted to kind of show off that side of PC building. And this is going to be probably a couple part series as there's quite a bit that goes into a custom water loop, um, as you will shortly see. So today's video is going to really focus on how to water block a graphics card, what goes into it. We're gonna be pulling this 3080 apart, which might be very scary for some. It's not as bad as it seems, I promise. Um, and put in this water block on it, and we'll take a look at how all those components work. And then in a future video, we'll be putting this inside of our next PC build for the store. It's gonna be a crazy build. I can assure you guys, you're gonna to wanna to stick around. It's gonna be sweet. Let's get started. So jumping right in, let's take a look at our graphics card itself. Alright, so we're going to jump right into disassembling the graphics card itself. If you've never done a water block install, it's certainly a little more advanced than, say, putting in some fans or maybe switching a case over on a computer. Uh, it's just a little bit more technical, so luckily all the water block manufacturers typically have really good instructions, either online in a manual or like a full-blown how-to video online, and it's going to vary for each card. So. A uh, Strix, a Founders Edition, a PNY Accelerate, they're all going to be put together a little bit differently as far as the fan coolers. And that's your ultimate goal is to take off the heat sink, the coolers, and any of this large casing so that we just get down to the actual chipset that's in here. Um, that way we can put our water block on and cool the VRAM. So we're going to be going in and taking out any of these little screws. And then you'll notice when you get to places like this, they have these small connectors that you'll need to carefully um, remove. And that way you can take off the cooler itself. So we'll probably time lapse this up and uh, get this fully out of here.
Once you've removed your cooler, this is our 3080. Chipset all on its own here. See, not that crazy when you take off the cooler. It's a relatively small card compared to the actual cooler itself. That's really what makes these 30 series such a big card. So now you can see a lot of thermal paste there, some thermal pads that we need to go ahead and remove and clean up so that we can prep the surfaces for our water block installation. Okay, next step here in water blocking this graphics card is going to be installing our thermal pads. So you can see here we have this sheet of one millimeter thermal pads. So they usually come in big squares like this or like kind of smaller strips. Um, either way though, you'll want to use an X-Acto knife and following the instructions for the water block, you'll be cutting them to size and then placing them on most Thermal pads have two-sided tape, one on each side, so make sure you remove that before you put the block on, otherwise you'll have uh, a lot of issues. Go ahead and start cutting these thermal pads up and getting them onto the chipset here. Now that our thermal block pads are ready, we're going to apply some thermal grease to the chip itself. And I'll start putting our EKWB water block on here. EKWB recommends that you do the thermal grease in like a nice thin X pattern here. Guys, I just got the back plate all finished up. Those thermal pads are applied. So we'll go ahead and add this onto our GPU, get it all screwed down. So I'll make sure you're using the right hardware. Uh, this comes with a lot of different screws, but the instructions will have everything all set out for you. Once this is on, we're completed with the water block install. All right, guys, that's the end of the water block install on this PNY 3080. Stay tuned, we're gonna be doing the full build. It's gonna be bonkers. 
Uh, check us out, cactuspcaz.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and reach out if you're interested in water blocking your own graphics card. See you guys in the next one. Thanks.